In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this simple shooting board using the Veritas shooting board track. Uh, I got the track because I've had the whole board before and I liked it, uh, but I don't like the Veritas fence only because it's super expensive and I really only use two angles, 90 degrees and 45 degrees. So, all I wanted was the track. <clears throat> this is pretty much my first real build video. Um, I always told myself if I'm going to start doing YouTube videos for woodworking, I'm going to show you guys the whole process. So if I make a mistake or I make an error, I'm not going to cut it out because that's not how woodworking works. I don't care how long you've been doing it, you're going to make mistakes. So let's get to it. Here we are, I found a piece of plywood that I like. Luckily, it was already two feet, so I don't have to do a cut there. Uh, just dig through your scraps and find something. This is only a half inch piece of plywood because you're doubling it up anyways. But I like it, because look at that side. I just think it looks cool. So, my style of woodworking, especially when it comes to shop furniture, I tend to not really draw things out. Um, I tend to just grab a piece and put my lines on it and go for it. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me put this down. It goes the other way. And let me see what that's at. I don't think that's going to be enough space. No, that's only at 8. That's 10. 10, 10. A little under 10, but... That looks like enough working room. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is 10 inches. So the first piece I'm going to cut, if you guys don't have one of these, I recommend it. It's a fast cap um, tape measure. It also has all the fractions and all the 16th numbers in there and stuff like that, plus you can write on it. So the first cut I'm gonna do is 10 inches. The next cut, we have to include the amount of track because that's gonna be your bottom board. So this track is About three and nine sixteenths. I'm just going to go to three and five eighths. So three and five eighths is the track plus the amount of board that we want, which is 10 inches. So the next cut is going to be 13 five eighths. I'll deal with the cleat later, but this is what we need to cut right now. So let's cut it. All right, so here are the pieces that we just made. So we have the bottom board and the top board. Um, it looks really good. So what I'm gonna do now is line everything up and attach the track. My theory is attach the track now. Is that straight? Yeah. My theory is attach the track now, so when I glue it up, I'll push it up against that to help hold it in place. So that's what we're gonna do next. This part, it doesn't matter too much if it's square. I mean, you want it to look good, but I'm not going to bust the square out or anything yet because we're going to be using it later. Is that the right way? Yeah, that goes on the outside. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I got a center finding bit. If you guys don't have one of these, I definitely recommend grabbing them. So when you push it down into like the hinge or something like that, the drill bit comes out. The other tip that I like to use is when you're trying to figure out which drill bit to use with which screw, take that drill out and you want to see only the threads. If you see too much of the, the middle part of the screw, I don't know what it's called, if it's going to focus, but you only want to see the thread sticking to the outside of that drill bit. So I know that I got the right one. Let me go ahead and drill the holes here. I just thought about this. I'm drilling on top of my table saw. So that's why I stopped. Remember, I'm the kind of woodworker that's going to show you everything, including the mistakes. So I am not editing this out. <laughs> Let me take this extra piece and tuck it under here for us. So these are square head. Let me grab a square head. I have a Phillips. Oh, oh, man. Oh, 
I lost one, but I found it. Oh, I'm missing a washer. There it is. All right. I found everything, even though things went flying. Thought it was a smart idea to move off of the table saw. Um, I do have this protector. <clears throat> In one video, I called it a shower curtain. I have used a shower curtain before. This is actually umbrella material from Amazon. So I use it to protect my workbench. Um, it's not going to protect your table saw from a drill, though. So <laughs> let's go to glue this up. Um, go ahead and get yourself a roller. Some glue. I use Tide Bond 2 clamps. <clears throat> I have a weight to go in the middle. And then just some 2x4s that we're going to stack underneath this. All right, so while that is over and glue up, I'm going to go ahead and get the bench hook and the fence cut out of a piece of scrap cherry that I had. Uh, it is, let's see, it's about seven eighths by an inch. So that's going to be perfect for what I need. Yeah, I like it. So the first cut I'm going to do is the 10 inch one. The 10 inches is going to be the fence. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger because I can trim it up when we put the shooting plane on there and it gives me a little bit of play when I'm setting the fence up. The cleat is going to be 13 and 5 eighths because we know that that's how long that bottom board was. So I decided to go ahead and plane the fence down while I'm still waiting for the glue to dry. Um, I did just do a tool, tool review on this. This is the Veritas Vice Rack Stop, or sorry, Lee Valley Vice Rack Stop. And it's awesome because normally my vice is on that side, but that's where I have everything gluing up. So I was able to clamp it this way because of this thing. So I just want to plane this down a little bit. Um, I feel like it's not perfect and I kind of want it to be, so... All right, so I realized that while this is still in glue up, <clears throat> I can go ahead and put the fence on here because I'm gonna have the shooting plane here and I'm gonna want the fence on this side. So I had to walk that through myself. So I'm gonna take my square. All right, so I went ahead and flipped the board over over so we could attach the bench hook to it. Um, it doesn't matter too, too much if this is square. I mean, if it's a little bit out, it's just going to sit a little bit out on your bench. So I'm not going to stress on it too much. I might check it if I have. Yeah, I do have a little square here. So I'll check it with a little, little square, but I'm not going to go crazy. I do want it to be a little bit away from the edge. I like it to have a little bit of overhang from the bench. So I'll probably go maybe just an inch. What I did notice too, the screws that I'm using that I used on the other side are one and five eighths. So they go up into the very top piece. 
If I were to use this screw right now, on this side over here is the track. It's too long. It would have gone through the track. So I got one screw for this side. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this put down. Um, on this one, I will do glue. I guess I should have mentioned that. On the fence on the other side, I didn't want to glue it down because if I run into any issues where I find out that it's out of square, I want to be able to take that piece off. The cleats on the other side, I really don't care about, but that fence I do. So the fence did not get glue. This piece will. All right, so final steps here. I'm gonna go ahead and chisel the glue off from the sides just to make it prettier. We're going to attach the bar and put some of the anti-friction tape on there, so. So here is a reminder for all of the woodworkers out there. I don't care how long you've been doing this. You are still going to make mistakes. And I just made one on this board. So if you can see, see that top line right there? So that's not getting planed. Here's why. The mouth, I have a Lie Nielsen plane. The mouth sits higher than this top board. So what I did is I looked at this. I saw minimum of half inch and I said, cool, we're going half inch. Well, that's for the track. So that's for this right here. Minimum of half inch because of that. What I should have done, I should have set my plane in the track and then measured up. And that would have told me how thick I needed this board. So there's a couple ways that I can fix this now. Um, I'm not going to do anything yet because I have a tool review coming up that's going to compare the Lai Nielsen, the Veritas, and the Stanley shooting planes. Whichever one I like the most, I'm going to keep. So I don't want to change this board yet. In the meantime, what I can do is I can put a thin piece down, put whatever piece I want to cut on top of that, and then plane. If I do decide that I want to keep the Lai Nielsen, then what I'll do is I will just take a very thin piece of whatever and glue it into here. Now, I didn't glue the fence, so I could take the fence off and glue the whole thing, but I really don't want to re-square it if it is square. If it's not square, then I'm going to take it off, glue a whole piece, and then do it again. So there you go. Uh... Sometimes that's just how woodworking goes. You know, you get to the very end of a project and then you realize at the very beginning you should have some, done something different. Uh, when I first started this project, that's what I should have done. I should have set the plane in the track and measured up. Didn't even think about it. And that's okay. That's how woodworking goes. I would not consider this a critical error at all. It's, it's very easy to fix. I just don't want to do it yet because I'm doing that plane review and I'm not sure if the Veritas plane, if that's the right height for it. Um, if that minimum of, of half an inch is going to work for that plane. If it doesn't, again, very simple. Take the fence off, glue another piece down, put the fence back on. I don't care how long you've been woodworking. 
I've been doing this since uh, 2018, so coming up on five years now, you're always going to have little mistakes like that. You almost saw me drill into the top of my table saw. Um, it's not the first time I've done that. I didn't learn that time. But hey, it happens. Just have fun. Just enjoy it. This is a very easy shooting board that you can get done in one evening. Um, I filmed all this in an evening. If you weren't filming it, I'm guessing it'd maybe take you an hour, if that. And most of that's just letting the glue tack up. Let me know if you guys have any questions, any concerns, any comments, anything like that. Um, keep an eye out for that shooting plane review video. We can see who the winner is off of the one of the three most popular brands. Um, if you guys want any kind of videos like this, feel free to let me know. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.